In the previous videos, I talked about high-pass filters with RL and RC. In this video and the following video, I'll talk about low-pass low filter with RL and RC circuit. So again, I have an RL circuit. In this case, I'm taking the output voltage across the resistor instead of the inductor. That's the difference. So again, I do the voltage divider and, you know, assuming transfer function. So V out divided by Vs is just R divided by R plus J omega L. The impedance, when you're, because we're working in frequency domain, so, so the, in the frequency domain, we talk about impedance. So the impedance or, in, or reactance of an inductor is J omega L, or J times 2 pi times F, which is frequency, times L. So if I divide both sides by R, I get 1 over 1 plus J omega L divided by R. So again, I take the magnitude, because at the top here, the magnitude is just 1. The magnitude of this, you know, if we have A plus J times B, the magnitude is square root of quantity A squared plus B squared. So that's really what I'm doing here. Then if you do the angle, the same thing. So the cutoff fre frequency for RL is circuit is R divided by L. And, you know, and graphically, this is what kind of looks like, you know. So you will see from an example that I tabulated you know, with numerical values that it passes the frequencies that are smaller than the cutoff frequency. And you can also graph the angle, you know, it's just, it's just uh, probably better to graph the magnitude. So again, as a simple example, if we assume resistance is 10 ohms, inductance is 150, millihenry you know then the cutoff frequency is 10.6 hertz and omega is 66.66 you know radians per second so omega is one over sorry uh is uh the cutoff frequency which is r divided by l so again if i change the frequency here and or omega, and I assume just for simplicity the input voltage is one. Then I calculate the output voltage. You see, like at the beginning, the voltage is very, the output voltage is really close to the input. Then it starts decreasing once it goes after beyond the cutoff. So I just round it up, you know, like 10.62. I just put 11. So you see, it starts decreasing. And basically, at some point, it gets close to zero. So graphically, you know, you can see here's the cutoff frequency. So you can see it starts high. So we have the input is one. So you see the output is close to the input. It's decreasing, decreasing, then it keeps decreasing. So in this RL circuit, it's passing those frequencies that are lower than the cutoff frequency. Thank you and have a great day.